This is NDTV. And you're watching NDTV Prime. Imagine if you were given a chance to design your own mobile phone or a car. What would you want it to look like? What do you think will be the colors and textures that you would want to add? And above all, what functions would you want for your gadget? Sounds exciting, doesn't it? Well, that's exactly what a product or an industrial product designer does. Design, as rightly said, is not just about how a product looks or feels, but also how it works, and therefore plays a key role in deciding its future in the consumer market. Design is the elixir of life. I mean, it, it is what makes things better. And product design or industrial product design is a great blend between aesthetics and functionality, between something that looks good and something that solves a problem. Today, more and more, all of us want to have products uh, with this blend. Uh, we want to have products that do something new, that add value to us, but still also look cool. Uh, I think the entire area of product design is becoming more and more popular, and all over India, uh, this demand is growing. The industrial design industry in India is growing, and according to experts, will be capable of contributing a whooping 61% of the total projected net worth of 18,000 crores of the Indian design industry by 2020. According to a recent industry report, the overall design industry in India, which incorporates sectors like architectural design, interior design and fashion and retail design among others, has a current potential size of more than 11,000 crore rupees. However, the industry at present realizes a mere 20% of this capacity. The professional practice of and training in industrial design in India dates back to the early 1850s and the Bombay School of Arts, known as Sir JJ School of Arts today, was one of the first few institutes offering academic programs in fine arts. 20 years ago there was only one college uh, which had industrial design. Uh, today there are more than 10 that do and actually each one is uh, developing their own speciality. This is something that's really interesting also. Um, the industry is partnering with colleges, uh, giving colleges opportunities to do projects so that they can work with uh, the students in advance. And yes, of course, there's always more opportunity, but I think colleges are waking up to that and uh, doing it well. Today, India has more than 500 institutes across the country offering both degree and diploma courses in various design disciplines like product design, industrial design and fashion and retail design among others. For students starting a graduate course in industrial design, training in product engineering, prototyping, concept development and mechanics are some of the key training areas. While for those enrolled in a master's program, the emphasis is laid on learning design development and creation of machine-made products along with market and technical research to fully understand the consumer behavior demands and needs. The industry and now more and more types of industries are waking up to product design. There's the traditional um, products industry, so uh, smaller products which, are, which can be used in the home. Uh, there's furniture. Um, these are also becoming uh, more systemized, process driven and uh, better designed. Uh, we can take like Godridge uh, as an example, they're spending a lot of time and energy in innovation. Uh, there is this whole other industry where uh, combining the digital with the product uh, is something that's becoming quite interesting. The Internet of Things, um, I think that the next generation lives that. The third group that's looking at uh, design or industrial design in a big way now are uh, the companies that are looking at experience design. 
Some of the key skills industrial design graduates may acquire during their course of study include those in the areas of product design and engineering, research and development, and business, among others. That was all about how to kickstart a career in industrial product design. But now to understand more about what it's like to work in the profession, we have with us Sandeep Paul, who is an industrial product designer, and Suhasini Paul, a toy designer. Uh, welcome to the show, both of you. Thank Let's you start so with you, Sandeep. Tell us a bit about how did you get into industrial product designing? Well, uh, initially I was pursuing uh, electrical engineering and I was also a cartoonist. So my keen observation skills led me to realize that I'm kind of understanding the problems, mm. but not being able to uh, solve them. Mm. That's how I went into design and found my calling that where I could identify the pain points of the uh, consumers mm. and actually convert them into business ideas and problem solving ideas and objects. Right. That's right. how I... Very interesting. So Hasini, you on yeah. the other hand specialize as a toy designer. I mean, a lot of designers, uh, you know, they try, they would rather want to specialize into fields like furniture design, for example. Why choose toy designing? Uh, since my childhood, I always wanted to design toys. Mm. And in fact, I have designed my own toys when mm. I was a child. Mm. I want to, uh, I wanted to always do something creative and related to children. Right. Then I uh, got to know about NID and they were offering toy design. I was yeah. uh, reading about you. You have designed board games for the brand Frank. Yes. You are also yes. working with Snapdeal, which is India's lar largest e-commerce platform. Absolutely. Absolutely. What is the competition like in India for a toy yeah. designer? And do many yeah. people take up this profession? What do you think? Yeah, there are very less toy designers in India. And this profession is very unique because only one institute in India is offering this course. Yes. And regarding the competition, because there is no competition, as there are less candidates who are doing this toy design. Yeah. And it is very difficult to survive as a toy designer in India because there are less companies who are dealing with toys. How do you see Indian market for toys compared to what is what it is like out in the West? What is the potential of the Indian market? Yeah, India is a big market, and uh, uh, we have uh, we have such a big population. So there is a tremendous scope mm -hmm. here for toys to sell, toys to design, and uh, to pursue it as a career. But uh, it is less known faculty right now. Right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sandeep, let's understand from you what is an industrial product designer's job all about, and how do you sort of differentiate yourself from a regular product designer? See, when you talk about industrial design, it's primarily designed for mass manufacturing. And when we're doing a mass manufacturing object, we have to understand the nuances that the price of the product lies at the tip of the pencil. So from identifying the problem to actually finding out the solution, the entire process, you have to keep the cost effectiveness of the product, the functionality that it has to perform. And the first thing is the aesthetics, which would attract any, any consumer towards the product at first sight. What do you think are some of the key challenges you have to face on a daily basis as an industrial product designer? See, the key challenge is that we always break the uh, monotony and try to do something new every time. Mm -hmm. So the basic challenges we face is from the technical end where maybe the first instance would be, no, this can't be done. So we have to push the envelope and show them what actually can be done with our grit and, you know, I would say a bit of stubbornness is required to push hard that you know something new has to be explored so you need to break the molds now according to reports the design industry in india has a potential to reach 18000 crores by the year 2020 yeah. and industrial design alone can reach a mark of 11000 crores which is massive mm -hmm. what according to you is going to drive this kind of a growth and also do you see new kind of opportunities open up for uh, aspiring designers in the future, new you know uh, industries or sectors opening up, which are demanding industrial designers. We've seen a substantial amount of growth in the <clears throat> the startup right. arena, where yeah. earlier it used to be only web uh, enabled uh, products, but now people are coming up with IoT Internet of Things, and they need right. physical objects. Right. So as industrial designers, in fact, the last project which we did, we did together. Mm -hmm. It was a toy based out of internet, mm -hmm. and we actually she did the character design of the toy and I built the toy for mass manufacturing. Right. So we are yeah. seeing a lot of these kind of avenues opening up for industrial designers to serve these startup uh, ventures. If for someone who wants to enter into you know, industrial product designing as a career, what would be your message, your advice to them? Let's start with you, Suhasini. Yeah, it, it depends on the passion. If you really want to do something, you will definitely do by hook or crook. Right. So if you want to, you are creative and you want to um, get into design career, you will definitely. Yeah. So passion is the most important parameter. Skills can be acquired. Correct. I, I think I'll resonate the thoughts because passion mm -hmm. is, is what drives this uh, profession. Because there are a lot of challenges which needs to be uh, addressed during the entire career span. 
Thank you. So passion is what you need to excel in a design career and there are no doubt of opportunities for product designers, industrial product designers as such and thank you so much for this wonderful interview. Thank, thank you, you so thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you.